Hi everyone, we're going to be looking at how you can design a ventilation exhaust system in H2X. So I've already uploaded the drawer in that. I'm not going to do a really detailed design, but more just use as an example for how you would complete this type of project. So the first thing I always mention is going into the settings. There's quite a few things to look at, but the most important one is if you come into systems here, this is where you control all the duct sizing. There's a few different options here. The top four are mainly for connecting to air handling units. So I would recommend using the fan exhaust system if it's dedicated as an exhaust system. And here you can change general things like the name, the colors, temperatures, and then you can get more into the specifics. So here on the duct sizing, you have options for the different ducts in the system. So risers, mains, branches and connections. Like here, we've got them almost all the same, uh, which of course is fine. But for example, if you wanted your risers to be a higher velocity, maybe a different material, you can choose that here. And same for your connections, like maybe you want that to be uh, flexible duct work and maybe to a different velocity and pressure drop. So I'm not gonna change any of this now, but you have full customizability over all of this. And similar, for the fittings, you can choose, like, how do you want the bends? Do you want them smooth? Do you want them a bit sharper? Uh, same for the T's and things like that. And once you've set this up on your project, you can save it and use it on all future projects too. There's then really, I suppose there is four parts to doing the design. One is drawing the ductwork layout. One is adding the grills onto the ductwork. One is locating the exhaust. And the final one is locating the fan. Uh, so all pretty straightforward. And let me choose the fan exhaust system. And we'll see here now, if we start by drawing the ductwork, we have the different options that we just looked at in the settings for the different ductwork. So I'm gonna say, I wanna draw with the main duct. And again, not doing a really nice design. This is just an example. I just wanna show how you can uh, do something like this and click escape when you're done. So we have the duct layout now. If I wanna go and add the grills, I can drop this down and we've got different options on shapes, um, like horizontal or vertical. So I'm gonna pick this one and that will snap to the nearest duct work. So it saves you uh, having to, to draw it. You can hold shift, or oh, sorry, control, if you don't want that to happen, but usually it makes sense. So I'm just gonna go for um, Again, not doing like a big detailed design here. Just uh, examples. And if you did want to be a bit more accurate, like you can pull away from certain ones you've already drawn uh, to keep things aligned. And you can copy and paste as well. Now there is properties of these. So if I right click, I can select, select similar. I've selected all seven here. And you can change the dimensions of them. You can change pressure drops. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set the flow rate. You can work your flow rates out in the software if you want to, and it will then automatically allocate a flow rate. But we're just going to go with manual for this one. And I'm going to put in say 200 liters per second uh, for each of these. And I should just mention, although this is in metric units, you can f change this to anything you want. So specifically Imperial, so it can be in uh, feet, inches, uh, gallons as well. Okay, last couple steps now, which are really straightforward as well, is I'm gonna add the exhaust vent on the end. So I'm gonna go with a slot uh, vertical. So I'm gonna place that here. I might just pull it in a little bit. And also gonna locate the fan. So just drag and drop, you see it's gray. And when it goes onto the ductwork, it changes color. Something to be aware of, you always want this arrow in the direction of the flow. So just like that. And that is everything now you need to run your calculations. So I'll click results. And in the matter of a few seconds, it has sized absolutely everything for us. The key information is already showing. So we can see the fan duty here. We can see the main duct sizes and it's even highlighted the index path for us over here. You can turn things on and off. So if you actually just wanna see the velocity if you want to see uh, pressure drops, you can turn that on. And as you pan around, you can uh, see the information. But also if you just want to keep it clean and you just want to see the duct sizing, 
you can also just like hover over the duct and see all of the um, the calculation information there too. And if you really want to get into the details, for example, you can look at pressure drops on the fittings and things like that. And when you're happy with everything, you can come over to the export part of it. And here you can share links with people. You can uh, export PDFs, calculation reports, list of materials, uh, and also integrate with uh, Autodesk products too.